What is up YouTube? ZukiM1 here and I am back with a brand new YouTube video. Today we are going to be counting down my top 5 games coming out for November of 2019. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. Kicking things off on our list, we have Pokemon Short and Shield. Now, this one should be pretty much an obvious no-brainer. Um, they've been advertising it literally everywhere whenever you turn on your uh, phone, your console, whatever you're using to um, that's online base. They, you've pretty much seen a Sword and Shield commercial somewhere. Um, if you haven't, well, consider this your first and probably only uh, allude to the new game coming out soon. Uh, it's supposed to come out on November 15th, so we're only a couple days away from receiving Pokemon Sword and Shield, and man, what a time to be alive. Uh, even after all the controversy of Sword and Shield, it's still looking to be quite a primo game, so I definitely highly recommend you to check it out if you haven't thought to do so already. I'm not exactly sure which version of the game I'm planning on getting between Sword or Shield myself yet, and if you don't exactly have a Nintendo Switch, well, luckily, I have one, so you can watch my playthrough of it on my channel coming up soon but at number four we have a, a very exclusive title um exclusive as in is only for the ps4 but also in terms of an original project uh for hideo kojima and if you haven't guessed already it is death stranding now uh death stranding is a um it's a project uh, created by uh, Hideo Kojima, the legendary uh, game director for the Metal Gear Solid series. This is his first title created by his original studio, uh, Kojima Studios, I believe it's called. Um, it's going to have a star-studded cast filled with some of the biggest uh, actors and actresses in the uh, movie industry and television industry to date right now. So it's going to be a star-studded event. The gameplay from what I've seen so far has been fairly interesting to look at not exactly sure what type of gameplay style is going for more if it's going more for a stealth approach or if it's going to feel a little bit closer to home uh with a title that i'm very fond of called um horizon zero dawn which came out in 2017 actually i used to stream it all the time on twitch uh i streamed it a couple times on youtube and stuff like that as well but uh, definitely a really fun title. It was based in a post-apocalyptic earth where you have to fight against all the creations that we as an advanced society have put onto this planet. But uh, in this game, you are trying to connect the rest of the United States together. We're not exactly sure as to what separated us. We're not exactly sure as to the state of the rest of humanity. But it is a fairly interesting title from what I can see so far. And mm, I'm on the fence about whether or not if, if, uh, if you are on the fence about wanting to get this title or not, definitely... Just check out my playthrough for it. I mean, like I said before, uh, as a gaming channel and stuff like that, we do tend to play these types of games. So that way you can get a feel of whether or not if you like these types of games or not. So if you do, or if you're still on the fence about it, don't know whether or not if you like it, definitely check out my playthrough of the game coming out uh, sometime in November uh, on the earlier side of things. I think it's on the 8th of November. So be on the lookout for my playthrough of Death Stranding as well. So at number three on my list, we have Need for Speed Heat. Now this was a surprise title that came out from uh, that was uh, announced for me. Uh, I didn't hear anything about any type of new arcade type of racing games. And if you guys have been a long time viewer of the channel and have watched quite a few videos of mine in the past, you would know that I'm a big racing car fan. Every time I tend to make a list, I tend to toss a racing game on there somewhere on the list uh and this being no exception as well uh definitely 
a really uh, fun looking game. I, I haven't gotten a chance to do a whole lot of research on it, but I'm definitely going to uh, do a little bit more to see if this is going to feel closer to like the more classic Need for Speed titles or if it's going to feel closer to the um, Need for Speed uh, run type of games. Um, I'm more of in favor of the old classic type of Need for Speed uh, formulas, but Here's hoping, right? Regardless, I'm still probably going to give it a spin on my uh, on my channel. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you check out my channel in the very near future. So at number two on my list, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if you guys are a little curious as to why I added Red Dead Redemption 2 onto my list, even though this game has already previously come out, it is now being released for the PC. So if you guys were not familiar with Red Dead Redemption 2, it exclusively only came out for the PS4 at first and was only on the ps4 for a good while um they recently just came out with the uh, multiplayer expansion for the ps4 and now we finally have a pc version for red dead redemption 2 so now we can run this game at 60 fps with a smooth buttery 4K graphics and everything along those lines. So if you haven't already gotten your copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, now is a perfect time to do so. And you can watch my playthrough on my channel. At number one, we have Star Wars Jedi Falling Order. Now this is a game that I, again, did not see coming anywhere near uh, in the forsaken future uh mainly because i'm a huge star wars fan i've played through a number of their games uh one of my favorite games was star wars the force unleashed and this definitely reminds me a lot of that title it's not exactly as exaggerated as it and they took more of a focus onto the uh lightsaber battles and things of that nature but they do have a lot of creativity when it comes to the combat and how you go about exploring the world uh, it looks like the story is a lot more flushed out than uh, the Force Unleashed, which I was hoping for, obviously, because it has been, mm, it's been some years since we had the uh, the Force Awakened. Not exactly sure as to when that hat came out, but now we finally got our hands on a brand new Star Wars game. Hopefully, th this one will be able to see some type of continuation in the story of that nature. Um, more than likely, it's going to be within the extended universe of the Star Wars, but if it does chooses to go in a path of um of actual canonical star wars i'm actually curious as to see how disney and other uh, other publishers for lucas arts games uh lucas arts games lucas arts uh stories and things of that nature are going to try to incorporate this within the main continuity of the story um but Without further ado, that is my number one pick on the list. A few honorable mentions that I found worthy to mention on this list. And the only reason why they didn't make this list is because they're currently already out. And if you haven't already, you should definitely pick these guys up. So, uh, on the honorable mission list, we have individuals or individuals or something like that. I, I don't know how to actually talk. Uh, <laughs> this game is made by the people who bought you Skullgirls. And uh, it is a very, very cool uh, blend of uh, platforming and RPG elements and things of that nature. It is a 2D si uh, 2D side scroller type of thing where you are going to be platforming and things of that nature. So think of like the classic Prince of Persia type of game combined with uh, Final Fantasy. So if you can picture something like that, you definitely will be in for a wild ride. Uh, it's definitely something that I want to definitely give a try on the channel. So if you're still on the fence about it because it uh, looks like an older style of gameplay, um, you know, you can go ahead and check it out on my channel. I'm going to try to pick this up within the near future. So 
Another honorable mention game that I feel the strong urgency to recommend is Luigi Mansion 3. Now, funny story about Luigi Mansion and me, I've actually never gotten the opportunity to be able to play any of the other Luigi's Mansions. Uh, you know, being a broke kid and all, <laughs> and stuff like that. So, kind of sort of got a chance. I've missed out on the other titles, but funny, uh, funny enough, you don't actually need to have played any of the other Luigi's mansions you can literally just hop right into this game and go ahead and have yourself a lot of fun fighting against a whole bunch of uh ghost type of creatures it's a um i guess you could say it's more of a soft uh horror game than oh a nintendo horror style of gameplay right here so uh if you are all more of the spooky side of things or whatever you definitely want to be able to get yourself a little uh scare but on a more mm, friendly goofier side of things definitely want to check out the uh luigi's mansion series this is definitely a lot of fun to uh to play through and watch uh, i've seen a couple other playthroughs of the other luigi's mansions and things of that nature so definitely want to try to check this out if you haven't done so already so the next game on the honorable mentions list is a game that I played way back in the day when I was a little kid called Trime. Uh, now they're all the way on their fourth title, Trime 4. Uh, it's about these three individuals, uh, three unlikely heroes coming together to save the world. Uh, apparently they've successfully done it three other times beforehand. Um, this archer lady used to be a thief. That was the character I used to play. Um, I used to have a friend who used to play the warrior. And I also had another friend who used to play as the uh, spellcaster. Now the spellcaster used to only be able to make... Uh, <laughs> he used to only be able to make boxes and things that i need to so it used to be super funny um it turned out to be like just a real lot of fun to be able to play through and now with the release of tron 4 they even took the liberty of creating tron 1 2 and 3 all together for you guys to be able to enjoy together which is going to be so much fun to play through with your friends it's uh i think the max is three so it's similar to the whole style of apex type of thing whereas you and three other friends i mean two other friends so um you know if you only got so many friends this is definitely a game to be able to enjoy with the trio it's already out in case you guys are wondering again like i said before and it has all four titles put combined together so definitely check it out if you haven't done so already if you guys want to hear something really funny actually back in the day when i was a little kid i used to absolutely hate call of duty games and now a couple years in the future i'm out here promoting for people to go buy Call of Duty games. Boy, what a time to be alive. And um, if you guys are not already uh, hadn't got it from me saying that, uh, I am talking about the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, Modern Warfare came out back when I was still in elementary school, so, uh, like just beginning my freshman year of high school. Uh, Modern Warfare 1 was out. Now, Modern Warfare 1, if you guys didn't know already, was the start of the new Call of Duty style of multiplayer and stuff like that. And there were so many people trying to get on that bandwagon. As you guys already know, a lot of game designers, once they see a game get really successful, everybody tries to bite that style of gameplay. And a lot of people... Uh, jumped on the bandwagon and tried to make a Call of Duty-ish type of gameplay. They were basically the Fortnite before Fortnite was around. Now that Fortnite has hit the scene, other people have been trying to make other games similar to it, but Call of Duty is starting to go back to their roots, making classic shooters back to how they used to be. Um, and Call of Duty has been around long enough to gain its... Um, it's respect that it deserves and things of that nature so if you haven't checked it out already definitely do so it's only received great reviews all the games on this list that i put on here has only received great reviews and um has been well received within the community so at number one we have code vein um if you guys haven't been keeping up with this game it is a namco game that was announced some time ago they had a demo out on the ps4 uh, people were going absolutely crazy 
over the game enjoy uh enjoying the hell out of it uh so now that it's officially released you know uh now you can finally get a chance to see what all the hype was about in this game and if you guys haven't uh if you guys the the whole premise of the story is this uh you are an individual who has the ability to be able to heal the world after it's been cursed by a queen who um who put like some type of curse on the land type of thing and uh your job is to basically go and purify these uh ancient artifacts that she left behind and through your blood and the uh purification that you have you'll be able to save their world but of course obviously it's not going to be that easy as to just go out into the world and go retrieve those artifacts you have to go battle your way through these really cool looking um bosses and things of that nature and go on a really in-depth story quest to save the world um, it's definitely a game to definitely look into if you haven't already. Uh, in case you're wondering what type of gameplay it is, it's not an RPG style, uh, traditional RPG style of gameplay. It's more on the lines of actually, um, Bloodborne or, uh, Dark Soul-ish type of game. Big swords, big battles, big deaths, stuff like that or whatever. So, um... Yeah, I mean, if you're a big fan of the Dark Souls games, definitely check this out. It's like anime Dark Souls. And that is the honorable mentions list. Thank you to everybody who have made it this far into the video. If you guys can, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down on the video below. You guys are absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate it. And I love being able to create videos like this. So if you guys do like these types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. I'll start making more uh, video uh, video games to check out every single month that way you can always have some games on your radar to be on the lookout for um, and yeah I think that's pretty much it on my end so again if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button but this has been Zuki M1 and I hope you guys have a great morning great evening great afternoon and great night but I will catch you guys in the next video and happy Halloween everyone more love to you. Peace.